Welcome to lesson one of the Befriend course. This is a course that will teach you how to befriend others to become more likable and to gain the ability to form deep and meaningful relationships wherever you go. We're going to start off the course by discussing the five types of people in our lives, also known as the tiers of friendship because just like a pyramid, the majority of people will fall into the lower tiers while only a select few make it to the top. Make sure you watch this video till the very end because the rest of the course will be built upon the concepts that we discuss here. You will have an extremely hard time understanding what we talk about down the line if you do not watch the entire video. Okay, let's get started. The first tier is the stranger. Strangers make up the majority of people that we encounter in our lives. You may have seen them passing by during your commute to work, in front of you in the supermarket, or they might even be someone that you happen to share some classes with. What makes someone a stranger is the fact that you've never really interacted with them before. You might have exchanged glances, you might know their name, but you've never had a conversation with them. Both of you may acknowledge each other's existence, but that's about it. Strangers do not fulfill our need for human interaction at all. The tier above this is the acquaintance. Most people have a couple dozen of acquaintances. These are people that you've interacted with a couple of times in the past. You've probably had a conversation or two with them, nothing special, just small talk. You say hi if you bump into them, but that's it. You never hang out with these people, and if you do, it's because a mutual friend invited them, not because of you. Acquaintances do very little in fulfilling our need for human interaction. The tier above this is the friend. Most people have just a handful of friends. Friends are people that you've spent a fair amount of time with. You've shared a couple of enjoyable interactions. You invite each other to hang out at events and parties. These are people that you've had many conversations with, mostly surface level stuff, but you've shared a decent amount of good laughs together. These are people that you feel somewhat comfortable around. Friends fulfill our need for human interaction to some extent. The tier above this is the close friend. Most people only have a couple of close friends, like two to four. Close friendships are friendships that have stood the test of time. These are people that you've interacted with over the course of at least a year or more. Close friends are the first people that you think of when you want to hang out. They are almost always invited to any event or party that you host. These are the people that you feel extremely comfortable around and because of this you've likely shared some deep and personal secrets with them. Close friends fulfill our need for human interaction by a lot. In fact, if all we have are a ton of close friends, we'll be pretty well off. Now very few people in our lives will make it into the last and final tier, that of the significant other. With the exception of our families, most people only have just one significant other. Significant others are the people that we value the most in our lives. They are the ones that we spend the most time with, the ones that we have the deepest conversations with, the ones that we trust the most. These are the first people that we think of when we host any sort of event. And for the most part, these are the people that we share a romantic interest with. Somebody like a girlfriend or a spouse. Of course, there are exceptions to this rule, but they are very rare. And because of this, it's very important to note that we're not going to spend too much time talking about how to get into this tier. See, developing a romantic relationship and getting a significant other is a bit different from developing your typical friendship. And it would probably require its own course. But this doesn't mean that you should not pay attention because what you're going to learn in this course will absolutely play a huge role in getting to this final tier. Now, I know I said there are only five tiers of friendship, but the truth is there are actually two more additional tiers. But before we get into that, I do want to mention something very quickly. See, I've been coaching people for quite some time now, and I've noticed something very concerning. The large majority of people who go through courses like the Tame course or the Be Friend course do not take action and reap the benefits. In fact, it's estimated that 80% of people who purchase a course will either not finish the course or not take any action. Only 20% of people will actually get something out of it. Once I realized this, I decided to create some sort of service to help those of you that really want to make a change. I've been working on a coaching program to go along with the Tame course for about a year and have just started working on an educational program to go along with the Befriend course. If you are someone who is very serious about making change and you're willing to invest money in yourself, please sign up for my mailing list in the description box below. Full disclosure, if you join this email list, you will receive emails about future programs and services that are not for free. These are services that will cost money and we're talking about a decent amount of money but will be worth every penny. They have been designed to significantly increase your chances of making lasting change. In fact, I've been testing out the first program for close to a year and so far we've had spectacular results. So again, if you're interested and you're willing to invest in yourself, the link is in the description box below. Okay, so what are the two additional tiers? The first one is a tier that I like to call the neutral tier. If you've never seen someone before, if you've just met someone, they will initially fall into this tier for a couple of seconds. The reason people only stay in this tier for a couple of seconds is because 
that's how long it takes for our brains to sort out whether this person is a potential friend or a potential foe. If the person is someone who doesn't seem like they will pose a threat, then we will automatically sort them up into the stranger tier. However, if they are giving off the wrong signals or they come off a certain way, we will automatically sort them into the foe tier. The foe tier is reserved for people that we think could potentially hurt us. You've probably come across someone who looked out of it. Maybe they were wearing rags or looked like they were on drugs. Maybe they looked very angry or they looked like they might be hiding a weapon. The way our brain sees it, someone like this is a huge potential problem, potential to physically or mentally hurt us. And because of this, we will subconsciously try our best to avoid them. If someone is forced to interact with what they consider to be a foe, they will enter a fight, flight, or free state, which is extremely uncomfortable. We're not going to dive too much into that, but what's important to know is that this is a tier that you want to stay out of as best as possible. And we're going to cover exactly how in a future video. Now that we've learned about the different tiers of friendship, a very important question remains. How exactly do we move up the pyramid, right? Because in order to build strong, meaningful relationships with people, we need to develop the ability to climb this pyramid as effectively as possible, which is why in our next lesson, we're going to learn about the four key factors that determine how fast we can climb up these tiers, also known as the formula of friendship. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon because the best way to help the channel out is by completing the course, reaping the benefits, and helping us make this world into a better place. Again, you can sign up for the email list to hear more about future programs and services I will be offering using the link in the description box below. Besides that, guys, stay tuned.